Today, we're gonna build our own dungeon. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another mini mod showcase. And you heard me right, we're going to make our own map. So, this is the default template we have. And when you go through this door, it takes you into the primary control room. And if you go back, you can then experience your dungeon exactly how it is. So when I first saw this map, honestly, it instantly piqued my interest. I'm always on the look for unique, interesting mods, and this one definitely fit the bill. So this is the command center. This is where all the magic happens. And we're going to go ahead and start with whatever this is. So using the arrows... You can choose whatever object you want. So you'll notice, hold on a second. There's now a block in that corner and we can turn that back into nothing. We can also have a miniature pillar, which actually that looks pretty cool. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and add one of those in each corner. So, I mean, what you're looking at right now is me going through all the different options. There is a ton of cool things you can do. All right, so I've put down my four pillars. You can see that actually does look pretty damn choice. So let's go ahead and start building this dungeon. So what we're going to do is, you can see that is like a four-way kind of pillar. I'm going to make that kind of like a dead end right there. All right, so this is kind of what I got going on so far. So why don't we go on and take a look at what it looks like. So this took me about maybe like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes max. And we can already see kind of what it looks like to have your own dungeon. And already it looks pretty damn cool. So this is definitely giving me like a crypt vibe. Um, here's our pillar we made in the corner. We put one in each corner. This is what we got left. It actually doesn't look all that big now that we've got this kind of going on. However, you'll notice that, I mean, these tunnels are cool. But what if we wanted to add doorways? And doorways, you most definitely can. So we can see we've got about maybe like a third of it finished. Let's go and turn around, and here we got doors. And the cool thing is, all of these specific objects we put down are laid out right here so we know exactly what we're doing. So, let's say for instance, between this corridor, I wanted to put a door. You click here, and there's a door. And you could do the same thing for this. Now, oddly enough, you can even put doors down where it doesn't make sense. For instance, so we put a door in front of that, but the problem is the door is through the wall. And even when you open it, it would just lead to another wall. In fact, we can even see that right here. Yeah, it uh, it's pretty much inaccessible. So you do have to be kind of weary about where to put doors. It does have to be through an opening. So, I mean, that's kind of common sense, of course. But here we have a door, which leads to our dead end that we did put in. And we can see the doors work pretty damn well. Although I gotta say, I think I prefer the whole tunnel system a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that door. And what do you guys say we add a few more doors here and there? I don't want to add too many of them because then we're gonna have to be opening doors all the time and that's not all that fun. So I'm just going to put doors here and I think I'm gonna call it good. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I didn't know if I was even really going to mess with this. Because I thought, oh, I'm not really much of a building kind of guy. But I gotta admit, this is actually pretty dang fun. Um, at first I thought it was gonna be hard to grasp because, I mean, when I first saw all this, I'm like, oh, what is all this stuff? But it took me less than like two minutes to figure it all out. So definitely really, really nice and streamlined. And honestly, the creator of the mod did an amazing job on that. Because this is actually way more fun than I thought it was going to be. I thought, oh, this is going to be a weird showcase, but I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Now, um, we have a dilemma here. There we go. Actually, you know what? That works. You can definitely see it's all coming together, and I mean, just seeing it from the top, we can see all the different intricacies between all the rooms. It looks really, really cool. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, so now that we have our dungeon set up, we can see it looks complete now. Let's go ahead and go through the door to see what it really looks like. So I'm probably going to keep these doors just because, I mean, you know, if someone comes through here, they're like, oh, what's in here? Oh, it's a dead end. But the best thing is, is that you can decorate this. And that's going to be the last part of the video I do where I actually do kind of deck this place out to give you an idea of what you can do with it. And of course, the best part of this is probably to play with your friends. So you can maybe make like a dungeon where your friends have to kind of find their way through it. And this probably took me like maybe three minutes tops to complete. So if you really want to dive in, definitely do recommend it. It's pretty easy to do. Although I am getting a bit lost because these tunnels kind of all look the same. I'm, I'm pretty bad with mazes, so this is definitely not my, uh, my cup of tea. But again, you can always zoom out and take a look. And actually, it's a lot smaller than it seems. There is a few dead ends, like this for instance. 
All right, so now I'm gonna try to deck this place out just a little bit and let's see how it looks. All right, so we got the room completely decked out and I kind of went for more of like a ramshack, like someone got lost so they had to kind of make do with what they had kind of thing. Like we got the Alex doll, obviously you gotta have that. We got a Raven home sign up in the air and we just got some like random debris that maybe someone collected. Obviously they need to drink, but oh, what's this? Is that the sexiness gun? So yeah, you could do cool things like that. And of course, even better is you can spawn NPCs. Because get this, there is actually nodes on this map. I don't know how they managed to do it, but you can have nodes working with this. So spawn in all the zombies you've ever wanted or pretty much any NPC that you want to add as long as it has nodes and is compatible with that. All right, so next up, I wanted to go for more of like a macabre look. We can see this is like completely locked up. And uh, these are supposed to go off, obvious, yeah, yeah, like that. So it was pretty much meant to be booby trapped, and we can see my homie hanging out on the couch. Um, definitely a bit more grim. If you look closer, we can see we got some bones in a bucket. But yeah, it's all pretty cool. This is just a taste of what you can do. I just threw all this together, and I'm not the most creative person out there. But it was a lot of fun to kind of set these little things up, and you can really go crazy with it. So the possibilities are pretty much endless with this mod. I love the creativity that it gives you, the player. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is a really cool mod? Would you use this? I'd like to hear your thoughts down below. And as always, if you did like this video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All the mods are going to be in the description. And until next time, my friends, thanks for watching and farewell.